Today is Wednesday, the 3rd of December. It's the third day of the COP. And um, I'll start by describing my day and then where we are in the COP. So as usual, I have breakfast in the morning with the least developed countries negotiators who are all staying, or most of them are staying in the same hotel with us. So we meet every morning at 7. We do a debrief on yesterday's activities and a planning for today's activities. And then everybody goes off uh, to the COP. The Africa group have a meeting at 8 o'clock, so they have to meet get to the COP by 8 for the Africa group meeting. These developed countries group meet at 1 o'clock at lunchtime uh, to review progress and uh, their plans for the next phase of their activities. And then I did a, an interview with the Guardian newspaper, an audio interview uh, by Skype, uh, which should be up on the Guardian website soon. Uh, they did a panel interview of people in, in Lima on the prospects of Lima. And then in the afternoon, I came to the COP venue and I took part in a press conference uh, based uh, with an interfaith group on the issue of faith and science and linking the two. Uh, there's been a lot of uh, f different religious denominations from the Catholic Church to the, uh, uh, the Greek Orthodox. We had the Archbishop of Cyprus with us at the press conference to Islamic leaders and Hindu and Buddhist leaders. They've been doing a lot of interfaith work on climate change in particular. Uh, most of the uh, religions believe that human beings need to take care of the earth and that we're not doing a good job of that and that we need to tell our leaders to do that. So there was a, a lot of interest from the press. I did a few interviews with a number of television stations. Um, I then did a briefing later this afternoon uh, for the Bangladesh delegation. They've all arrived here. Uh, it's a relatively small delegation, but even so, they still have about a dozen people from government and non-governmental agencies who are regular uh, delegates at these UN Framework Convention talks. Uh, Bangladesh has a very good delegation, very able leader, the Secretary of Environment, Mr. Nojibur Rahman, uh, who's a good uh, team player, takes everybody on board and ensures that Bangladeshis are all taking part in the negotiations effectively and particularly as part of the least developed countries group to which Bangladesh belongs. So a lot of organizational work, a lot of uh, uh, press conferences and advocacy work. Uh, in the negotiations themselves, uh, we've been talking about the adaptation issue still. Uh, there's a contentious issue around um, loss and damage where last year in the Warsaw COP, we agreed on a Warsaw international mechanism with an executive committee and they've developed a work plan a few countries uh, have tried to open up that work plan here in Lima, whereas most other countries believe that the work plan has been agreed. Even if they're not very happy with everything in it, they'd rather carry on with what they've agreed rather than open it up again for uh, discussion in the COP. Uh, we'll see what happens. The chairs of the group have given them till today to make up their minds. Uh, and if they don't resolve it, they might have to take it to the ministers. So I'll keep on reporting on progress in the negotiations. Uh, tomorrow I'll talk a little bit about the capacity building issue, which has unfortunately become another uh, contentious issue and may have to go to the ministers. I'll find out the latest situation and give a briefing on that.